How's it going guys? Today we'll be going over the RAM insert series. Now the RAM insert series isn't terribly new from us, however this rundown has been a long time coming and now is the perfect time to do this with the upcoming release of the quadruple RAM insert. The RAM insert was released back in early 2022, but actually started out as a series of dedicated AK placard and insert prototypes. These weren't great, but they were a learning experience of designing a mag cell that protected the cell walls from the harsh locking lugs AK mags have. This ended up being fantastic for other mags as well, so we shifted the design to become our own unique line of inserts for more than just AK mags. With a quick history out of the way, where really are the RAM inserts and what does that even stand for? The RAM insert, or Reinforced Ammunition Management Insert, is essentially a hybrid between elastic mag cells and kydex mag cells. Elastic is great for accommodating a variety of mags, but depending on the elastic material they can wear out or get torn up if the mag has rough edges or locking lugs. Elastic cells are quiet, which is great, and fully collapse when empty, but that also makes it harder to re-index mags back inside of them. Kydex inserts, on the other hand, are great for re-indexing mags back in and are pretty durable. Depending on the insert, their retention is solid but mostly inflexible with what they can accept. They also stay fully open no matter what, make noise when bumped into or used, and don't feel great when they get rolled over or crushed. The RAM insert takes the pros of both types and integrates them into one insert. Now, mags are well retained until a speed reload is required, and tack reloads are easily achieved with the semi-open profile of the cells. This is achieved by integrating thin tegris walls that are rotated from the typical front to back profile like kydex cells to a side to side profile. This is an artifact of the AK prototypes and while it helps protect the elastic from the magazine, it has a second bonus. Due to how they're installed in the cells, they have a slight inward bow to them that adds retention. As the magazine pushes in or is pulled out, it must push the walls outward which creates a spring-like tension on the magazine further adding retention. Furthermore, the inside of each RAM insert cell has a rubber-like friction pad to add more retention to the magazines, preventing them from sliding up or down. The Tegra walls also help keep the cell slightly open, making re-indexing mags much easier than standard elastic cells. On a side note, one helpful tip for re-indexing mags on any insert is to start with one corner of the magazine in, and then rock the rest of the mag into the pocket. The RAM insert features loop velcro on the front and hook velcro on the back, which makes it compatible with placards like our own, Arc Placard V3, or any other insert out there that has hook and loop lining on the inside and is expandable depending on the insert's width. The RAM insert is offered in a few calibers with more to come. Currently we offer, or will offer, the quadruple 556, triple 556, triple 308, triple AK, and the quintuple SMG large. Both the quadruple and triple 556 inserts take 556 mags, and more specifically, M4 Air 15 pattern mags. Metal mags work great, as do P mags and other polymer mags. The triple 308 holds, you guessed it, 308 mags like the various AR10 mags, both metal and polymer. Here we have some Lancer mags, but Magpul P mags and standard issue metal mags work great as well. The triple AK holds both 545 and 762 by 39 mags, as they are dimensionally similar enough to fit in this width of cell. The 556 can also hold 545 mags, but we don't recommend it as it is a very tight fit. Inversely, this AK insert can hold 556 mags, but it will be a very loose fit. Essentially, the AK is a middle ground between the 556 spacing and the 308 spacing. Lastly for now, the SMG large insert. This is for those larger subgun pistol caliber mags out there like the Scorpion EVA, MPX, MP7, UMP, and the sword that aren't strictly the thickness of your standard double stack pistol magazine. In the future, we will be releasing a sextuple SMG small insert for your more true to width double stack mags for handguns, MP5s, KP9s, BNTs, and the sword. Installing the RAM insert is fairly simple as most inserts on the market, with the exception of the quadruple insert. This quick guide will be specific to the ARC Placard V3 as it was designed to accept these inserts. To insert the RAM insert, first place the mags into the cells and fully seat them. Then, take dividers and place them into the placard to break the velcro and prevent the velcro points from touching. These can be made out of cardboard easily, uh, paper can work, but often tears in our experience. Now place the insert into the pocket, center it, level it, get it where you want it to, and then cleanly remove the dividers. Press down the velcro to ensure solid contact, and then at the end, tighten up the shock cord to take out any of that extra slack at the bottom. 
For the quadruple ram insert, you'll do very much the same thing, but start by fully loosening the knots on the arc placard and undoing the two outer snaps and pulling out the tegris walls. Insert all four mags and then place your dividers into the placard. Start inserting the insert by taking the two tegris strips and feeding them down to the bottom corners and pulling them out. Then slide the rest of the insert down into the pocket. Once inserted, make sure it's centered, leveled, and place the insert where you want it, and then remove the dividers. Press down on the Velcro to go ahead and close up that stuff. And now remove the flanking mags. You're now gonna take the Tegris walls and feed them under all but the top shock cord band, and then capture that last band as the wall descends into the mag cell. At the bottom, you're gonna snap the snaps together and ensure that this circuit is pretty much closed. You are then going to repeat that on the other side. Now that you've done that, you're going to go ahead and ensure that these Tegris walls don't interfere too much with the shock cord on the side, as well as your molly loops on the flanks. Then insert your mags into the cells. And that completes installing the quadruple RAM insert into the arc placard. That concludes the rundown of the RAM insert series. They really are a simple but effective hybrid insert that keeps mags well retained, accessible, and easy to stow. We hope you'll snag one if you need one, or if you have one, we'd love to know how your experience has been. But if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below, DM us on Instagram, or email us at customerservice at shaw-concepts.com. Thanks for your time, and as always, conquer all.